Yeah. Hello, thank you for viewing Mary's web pages. This is a, a special <laughs> video in as much as it's for a great, well, we didn't know this lady too much, but we knew her mum. Uh, the lady is called Sandy, and she lives in Calgary, Alberta, uh, in Canada, of course. And we were great friends with her mum. We were great friends every time we. Her mum worked for the Canadian Customs uh, official. She was, she was a body person carrying a blinking big revolver on her side. But what a lovely, lovely woman. With the, with the mom. Her mum had the nicest bluest eyes you have. Actually, even Mary would say that. Yeah. Gorgeous and, woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah she was, and a lovely person too. I her so We miss her, Sandy, you know, we really do. Uh, this one is, is, uh, is, is let, let me have it. Now you've got me going now. This one is, uh, it, it's from, oh, oh it's Channel 5's uh, in San Diego, California. Channel 5's news programme. And in this one, you'll see uh, Mark and Desiree, the two hosts, and you'll see the weather girl. Uh, it, it's very interesting as much as what the weather girl, she's a ball of fire, she's a ball of action. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, a wonderful girl, and for the life of me, we can't think of a blinking name at the moment. But uh, listen to what she says, she gives Mary a good report. Uh, that's about it. Mary's web page is www.marymalone.com. Or you can email Mary at M Vickers, that's M V I C K E R S 44 at hotmail.co.uk. And don't forget to tune in, don't forget to tune in. We're war with a ton more videos coming up. And if you miss these, you'll miss your way home. And <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe. And I have a map here, all right. Ring that bell for Sandy. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. That's a wrap. <laughs> uh, it's 8.30 and 60. I'm like, what? Where am I? Mark was, pops his back on his chair. I, I've got a chiropractic chair. You lean back and it pops. You said, where does it hurt? And you were rubbed my shoulder. I said, well, it really doesn't hurt. And you said, well, you know, mine does a little. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Oh, yeah. You guys fondle hurts. each other later. Please. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Half so, an hour more to go on the show. Yeah. So what's going on? Uh, well, I'm really excited because we've got a great forecast, and then we've got Mary Malone coming up. Yeah. I said hi to her in the uh, in the green room. We've already gotten a ton of emails asking people asking her, you know, what's in my future. I need to say something about Mary Malone. Okay. She is so right on. It is scary. You know, I think all of us have a little skepticism about people who might be able to see into the future or feel some kind. You know. You know what I mean. But then she did a reading with me and she literally named my best friend by name. This is somebody you already knew or somebody you met later on? No, somebody that I've been best friends with oh, okay. since I was four years old. Yeah, okay. And I've had that happen she, too. She literally, she said his, his name is Ronald Stevenson. He lives in Raleigh, North Carolina and he and I grew up in Virginia together. And she goes, there's a very strong Stephen, very strong Stephen, strong Stephen. And I was like, Steve, that was my old photographer's name. And, I, you know, I didn't, oh but my gosh. You made, you made the connection. Okay. She, it is just, it is uh, unbelievable. Well, she, she's here. She's right over there. Yeah. As soon as okay, we yeah, talk hey, about weather. weather and traffic, I'll do some news and we'll talk to Mary. Weather. See ya. Going over to the green screen. Yeah, baby. Woohoo. Okay. We're live in Miramar. It's 831, 66 degrees. We're under clear skies. Nice, nice, nice. And nice, nice, nice. In this report, I'm going to have the six day, but you got to get past all this little uh, forecast stuff too. So let's get to that. Can we? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Got an area of low pressure moving into San Diego. Here it comes, bringing us a bit of an onshore flow, cooling down our temperature. So we'll have a little bit of morning and evening fog, and mild temperatures in the uh, along the coastline and in the inland valley still good to go to the beach though good beach day today clear westerly winds 10 to 15 by the afternoon hours uv index is an eight don't even think about going to the beach without some sunblock okay air quality is good visibility 10 miles average high 70 along the coast so it'll be a little cool definitely especially if you're from out of town especially from like the northeast or something this is like you know africa hot to you so our rain gauge, we're over five inches below average on our rain total, so that's not good. Today's forecast, around 70 along the coastline and upper 70s, around 80 in the Inland Valley, 79 in Rancho Bernardo today, 
70 in um, Solana Beach, 82 in Poway, 70 in La Jolla, 78 in Lemon Grove, and 70 in Imperial Beach. Here is the much coveted Fox 6 six day forecast. Okay. Uh, our common denominator along the coastline uh, for the next six days will be in around 70, upper 60s, and in the inland valleys, upper 70s. Really, it's going to be nice. Mother's Day, mostly sunny, so don't forget your mama. I haven't sent my mama anything yet. In fact, her birthday was a few weeks ago, still haven't sent anything. Oh, God. Okay, that does it for uh, my weather update. I'm going to send it over to uh, Mark now for news update. All right, and I'll get quickly through that, and then we'll talk to Mary Malone. New numbers out of Iraq this morning say that one American soldier is among the seven people dead after a homicide car bombing in Baghdad. Two U.S. troops were also among the 23 people injured. The bomb went off near a checkpoint at the main complex that houses the U.S. administrative offices. New photos of alleged abuse in Iraqi prisons are surfacing this morning. The Washington Post is running photos of naked prisoners sprawled on top of each other and one prisoner being held by a leash. President Bush is promising to deliver justice to those soldiers who abused their power in Iraqi prisons. In the wake of that scandal, Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld's job could be at stake. An editorial in the St. Louis Post-Dispatch today is calling for his resignation. Republican Senator John McCain says Rumsfeld has a lot of explaining to do, including why Congress was never told about the abuse allegations. Rumsfeld is scheduled to testify on Capitol Hill tomorrow. The latest from Iraq this morning, an Arab TV network is showing video of a man described as an Iraqi American being held captive. That man says that he worked with the Pentagon as a civilian engineer. The man said that he was kidnapped May 3rd and did not identify as alleged kidnappers. He appealed to international agencies to bring about his release. More news coming up at 845, but in the meantime, here's Des with Mary. That's right, Mark. The wait is over. We have several emails, and Mary's here this morning uh, to give us her thoughts. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, dear. How are you? Very well. Now, for oh, for folks, <laughs> folks that may not already know you, but everybody does, I'm sure, um, you're a spiritual healer, right? Yes. And that's you, what you, I you usually do. And this glass of water is here for a reason. Yeah. I can see the, well, I can read that like you could read the paper. Don't ask me how I can do it, but I can do it. And uh, for a while there, couple of, for a couple of weeks, it was like um, Jewish writing. And I thought, oh, I've lost my job. I cannot read that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So the guides were changing with me. And they've given the, uh, my insight stronger. They've changed it back to the English, though. But I, w uh, I was able to put the, the um, letters together. Even though it's it it out. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. the way you, you do that's things. Right. Now yeah. we have a, a few yeah. emails and I'd like to try and get okay. to as many as possible because I know that's folks are very interested yeah. in hearing what you have to say. Mm -hmm. This is from Anne in San Diego and she says, Dear Mary, I am recently divorced after thirty one years of marriage. This has drastically changed my family, my life. The divorce is still not financially settled. Can you please tell me what my future holds for my for me financially? Will I get the house? Will I have to go back to work? And what about her love life? And uh, she also wants to know about her youngest son. Right. Well, with this young woman, first of all, uh, I want her to take take time, not to, not to settle down too soon. I would like her to sit to go out and get a job because of the emotional side of her, sitting at home thinking of what's happening mm -hmm. uh, is not going to be good for her. She has a lot, a lot of changes in the next three to four years. They are good, but she has to follow, she has to follow your own heart, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a, a guy that's going to come into her life. I get Michael with him or a great big M. It could be Mac as well. Um, he has his own business. She will meet him in a very um, funny type of a way. She won't be out purposely 
looking for anybody. Okay. But he's, he's a great fella. She will get married again and be very happy. Um, her son that she's, she, that's around her, he needs a lot of love and understanding okay. and she's to give him that love. Okay. okay, the next person we have here is uh, from, it's the email from Deborah King in Lemon Grove and she says, good morning. The question is from Mary. I'm planning on going back to school. I've just recently got a computer and learning to use it. I can't type, but I'm enjoying my computer. Do you see me going to school and getting a job with computers? Um, are, what type of work uh, do you foresee for my future? What should I be training for? I'm 48 years old. Also, do you think I'll ever own my own home? Mm -hmm. What did That's I tell her? Okay. Yeah, she has a wo uh, this woman has a, a wonderful future ahead of her. Uh, she has to keep to her plans. If she's changing her plans like oft she often does, mm -hmm. then, of course, it's going to be s struggling for a while. But there's three or four years of wonderful, a wonderful future for this woman. Okay, very okay. good. Thank you for that email. Now this is, uh, let's see, we don't have a no name, a on name this. for that. No, no, no name, but it says, Dear Mary, uh, this is interesting. It says, I bite my nails. Mm -hmm. I've tried everything to stop the nasty habit. What is it going to take to stop? Well, first and foremost, anybody that's biting their nails, they're very stressed or they're very nervous. Uh, they could even have a bit of a temper. Uh, very intelligent um, and the only thing I can tell this person is they'd have to go to a drugstore I don't know the name of the, of the liquid but there, there is a liquid you can paint on and it's very 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 nasty to taste and that'll stop them <laughs> so this Painted really isn't on well. one of those you know <laughs> questions yeah. that for a spiritual healer but hey yeah. you had some advice very good yeah. all right now this next uh, email doesn't have a name either but it says dear mary i'm a student with a great internship crappy job no social life and in the last year have put a lot of put on a lot of weight i'm dying to know what the future holds for me will i finally lose these extra pounds and possibly meet a boy how much longer will I be in school? Will anything come of this internship? And how long will I um, be doomed to wait on people at Red Lobster? <laughs> well, it's, that's one place she's going to put weight on, I can tell her. Uh, there is still two years to go through before you can clap your hands and see that you're starting to climb the ladder of life. I'd, I wouldn't like this young woman to go on a strict diet, but you can eat everything you like, but only half. Don't eat going to bed at least two hours before you go to bed. Just drink water, and you will find within a week to nine days that you're, you'll start losing weight, and you won't put it back on. Oh, okay. okay. Well, you know... I'm really, mm. uh, and we've run out of time, unfortunately, mm. and I'm actually really sad that we didn't get to this email because I think this is a, a yeah. really good one. Yeah. But uh, maybe, theory. maybe if there's a way you can email I them will, or something I will. like that. Okay. I will. So yeah. if you, um, yes, uh, yes. Marie Stern, we're going to have Mary email yeah. you um, yeah. her response uh, because right. I think I this will. is a good one. Yeah. All and right, I'll, so and I'll help them. All right, well, if yeah. you'd like to get in touch with Mary, you can see all the information right there on your screen, marymalone.com, and uh, we love having you on, Mary. Thank you so much for coming in. God bless you, and thanks oh, again, and God bless everybody on here. Thank and you. And those that are listening to us. Okay, we're going to take a quick break right now. Still ahead this morning, Ruben returns to MCAS Miramar to face his greatest foe. I hope you didn't miss this earlier. It was great. He reunites with Connor the dog when Fox in the Morning returns. Try Submarina's newest fresh catch, premium albacore tuna salad. It's an awesome sub, salad, or wrap. You'll be hooked. The new premium albacore tuna salad from Submarina. Fresher is better.